In this video we'll be looking at the final cross-site scripting vulnerability on DVWA which is a stored cross-site scripting. We have our security level set to low as usual, we'll work our way through each one of them. And just before we jump into the stored XSS attack, let's, um, let's open up this link just in case you didn't watch the DOM base and reflected. Let's just cover the, the difference that we're dealing with here. So the reflected attacks that we just did previously would be reflected to the user. We would send. We would need to send them a URL um, with the actual cross-site scripting code in it, and uh, they would need to open that in order for it to be executed. The difference with a stored attack is whenever we actually identify the injection point, there's somewhere that it's going to be stored. So in this case, we have a message board. Um, we can sign this guest book. So it could be something like that. It could be um, in the logs as well. If the HTTP logs can potentially um, have cross-site scripting attacks in them. So you can see here, yeah, message forum, visit a log, comment field, etc. And that is potentially a lot more serious because it means that everybody who visits the page will have the attack executed against them, not just the the victim that you send a, a malicious URL to through a phishing email or something like that. So. Now that we've covered the differences, let's have a look at the help section, see what we're being asked to do here. And yeah, XSS is stored in the database, it's permanent until the database is reset or the payload is manually deleted. And our objective is to redirect, redirect everyone to a web page of your choosing. Okay, no problem. And um, it's not asking us to take the cookie or anything, but maybe we should do that anyway, why not? And the low level will not check the requested input before including it to be used in the output text. Let's have a look at the source code. We can see that we have this message for the name and the message box. They're trimmed to remove any white space. They have the strip slashes here to sanitize it. Okay. All right. Let's see what let's see what happens. There seems to be more protections enabled on this than in the low security for reflected and stuff like that. Um, let's just start by you testing out the default. Um, functionality, just say crypto, hi, sign the guest book, and you can see that this is outputted here. Okay, now what if we say our name is crypto, but our message is script, and then close off the script tag, and then say alert, you've been hacked. Sign a guest book and then you see you've been hacked. Now what's interesting here, if we go to our back to our reflected from our last exercise and then go back to stored, you'll see you've been hacked again. So every time that we load this page, even though there's no nothing malicious in the URL here, we can just send that URL to a victim and it will execute that code. The only way for us to get rid of that is to clear the guest book. Let's clear it. And now you see that's been cleared. Let's um they asked us to redirect the page. So let's say we put in our name as crypto. We'll set our script. Why do I always do the wrong t tag there for closing? We'll set our script and we'll say actually set the window location equal to, and it could be a website of our choosing. So we could put in any domain here. Let's make it a website that we actually own or a domain we own. So we'll do obviously local host here because we're testing locally. I can do um, python dash m http dot server port 1337 and you can see now we're serving our um, the page. So let's enter in here http 127.0.0.1 1337 Oh, you see that the it stopped typing there because the text box isn't doesn't allow enough input. Let's modify it. Let's go into your inspector and set this. We'll just set it to 250. It should be plenty. And we want to say 0.11337 slash, and then we'll have this query that says the cookie is equal to. This is just what we've been doing in the last exercises. If you um, if you followed along with those, and we'll say plus document dot cookie. Now if we sign the guest book, you'll see we've been redirected to this page. Let's go back to DVWA. Now if we go to our reflected, nothing of interest. If we go to our stored, you see we've instantly been redirected to our um, our own our own website. 
and if we check our website logs we'll now see that every user who visits the the page will have their will have their cookie logged here um, so that's a demonstration of a real um, of, a, of a real attack how that could be used in, in real terms let's we need to go and s remove that um, which isn't going to be easy perhaps let's um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our history and let's see where we cleared it we cleared it at some point we sent this post here clear guestbook let's send that to the repeater let's repeat that send and now if we go back we'll see that our guestbook has been cleared okay so that's how we do the low difficulty let's switch things up let's move it over to medium and see what's changed and if we check the help section now for the medium difficulty the developer has added some protection however he hasn't or she or they haven't done the every field the same way so let's go to our source code and see what they've actually done okay I was hoping kind of zooming in there would expand the window size they're a bit awkward here but that's fine let's um, see what we've got here we have our text message or text name and then in here we are stripping the tags let's compare this to what we had previously so it, last time it took the message and the name it trimmed them it's still doing that it then stripped the slashes on the message but now instead of strip slashes it's stripping the tags and then adding slashes to the message so if we go back here and say crypto if I say script alert backslash backslash script sign the guest book you can see it's removed all of that if we go in and say as well even if we change this to like capital letters and you know we could add some white space put a the other thing uh, if we put a message in here and say hacked let's um, sign that you see it's removed even though we add some white space obfuscation we change the case of our script it still removed it because if you remember this um, this function well our um, oh there's our, that's our low sorry we're stripping the tags and then we're adding slashes and then they're doing the HTML special chars. If you remember for our impossible difficulty on the reflective level, that was the um, that was the, the the method for ensuring that the attacks couldn't take place. So what we if we remember the hint, it said that the not all fields had been treated the same by the developer. And you'll see right down here below it, we have our name and the name for some reason the name doesn't have the same code as the message and here it's just saying string replace script with nothing which means we can do something like we did last time with the name so um, we'll just put our benign message in here and then in the name we should be able to say well if we were to try script um, alert oh we've got to expand the size of this let's change the inspect element put the max length up to whatever 200 and um, let's just change the length as well so you can actually see what's going on put that at 100 and we'll say script alert document dot cookie backslash script this isn't okay that wasn't what I meant to do there I just somehow did, what did I even press okay <laughs> uh, let's go back to a dvwa Back to reflected. Hopefully, I copied that. I tried to copy it. Okay, I've got a um, inspect element. Put that back to a hundred. Paste that in. Well, we've got alert here. Script. Okay, let's just say hacked. And if we send this, it shouldn't work because it's going to strip. Oh, it did work. Oh, our level security level set to low now. Let's set it back to medium. 
go back to our stored we've got to clear our message book and then again we've got to inspect the element here and set this to 100 paste that in put in a message we sign that sign the guest book you'll see it's removed our script tags but if you remember as last time something we can do is we could either change the case of these we could add some white space uh, let me change the size again so we could say here's some different ways we could do this we could do this these are just examples there's plenty more ways we could do it we could do this and we could also do this so that whenever this script tag is removed using that um, in the code it'll take this out and then it'll leave a fully formed script tag now we can say alert let's say document.cookie and close off the script tag the they were only looking for the starting script tag so I don't even need to worry about this one and then let's say hello sign the guest book and now you'll see it's come back with our cookie and similarly if we go to another page come back to this one it's always going to bring us back the cookie because it's stored here in the database so we could do the same thing as we did in the low example there as well and have that redirect to our page and send the cookie but um, we've already demonstrated that it's just gonna be the same code I'll not uh, I'll not take up too much time let's go and change our security level to high go back to our stored and see what's changed so open a hel the help again and the high level the developer believe they've disabled all script usage by removing the pattern so it's just the same as our last example um, in the reflected let's check our source code and you can see here that the message they're still um, they've secured this quite well but the name input they're using they're going to remove all the script tags we can't just put in white space here and we can't just insert a tag in the middle to get removed and the case sensitivity doesn't matter but they haven't dealt with other HTML um, events so let's do port swigger XSS cheat sheet and there's a lot of different examples we can use here the image tag is quite a popular one let's maybe try and do something different because we've been doing the image tag quite a bit so Firefox is a browser we're on we'll say all events are fine let's try and set this one to maybe a href and we can say okay so you could do something like this requires you to copy a piece of text let's I'm actually interested to see if this works no, I've not done this before let's copy that and let's paste not into the message box the message box is blocking um, just say hi in the message box expand our name field set this to 100 we paste that in and say in here hacked and it's on before copy so let's sign the guest book oh does it need to be the name we need to copy the name hmm. yeah it doesn't work with me <laughs> okay let's go to another page maybe I'm not doing something right there I need to copy something else I don't really don't seem to be doing anything for me let's go back to our event analysis do require user action okay requires a click of an element of of the element here let's try this one inspect the element here rather than inspecting the element something we could actually do let's 
let's we could um, send the request here. This was our post. Let's send that to the repeater, and we could say in here our text box. We'll paste that in. We can URL encode that. Let me. Control and U, send, and then let's go back here. And what was what was it asking us to do? On click, um, let's click on the name. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can click on that name, and it prints out that error message. I um, I wish that copy one was working now. Requires you to cut a piece of text. Let's try this one. Oops. Copy that. Um, let's go back to burp and this time we'll paste that in. We'll URL encode it and we'll send. And then go back to our page. Um what was Essence to do requires to cut? Let's cut it. Oh well we can't cut it, but Oh yeah, we can't cut. <laughs> that was a bad one to choose. Um, requires a mouse drag. Let's try this one. This is the last one. I'll waste time with. Go back to our burp. Paste that in. I have too many tags there. Oh, I might have had too many tags on the last one. Actually, I think I might have made a mistake there. Okay. Well, let's control and U that. Let's send it. Let's go back to our stored. Let's see if I can. No, is it the top one or is it the bottom one? Select it. Select it and try to drag it. No, okay. That's the one that we double click on. Select it. Select this one. Try to drag it and it works. Okay, cool. Yeah, so there's different events there. You obviously play around depending on the browser and things like that. Let's clear our guest book here. We've done the high difficulty. And let's change the security level to impossible and see how they've secured it. Go back to stored. And if we go to our help section, As in the last example, it says use an inbuilt PHP function such as HTML special chars. It's possible to escape any values which would alter the behavior of the input. So you can have a look at the documentation for this here to see exactly what it does. We know that this was already being used for the message box field on the past couple of difficulties, and it's gonna it's gonna replace all of these special characters which could be interpreted as in HTML or JavaScript uh, code. So if we view the source now. And we'll see that it has it's running strip slashes on both, and it's also doing the HTML special chars on both. So we're not going to be able to inject into the name or into the message. We can we can double check it. Let's uh, script. Let's um, expand the section. Do it manually here because it's one last time. Alert. Hi. Close it off. And we'll put it in the message box as well. Sign a guest book. And you can see there it's it's um, converted all of our special characters so that they won't be interpreted as HTML or JavaScript here. Okay, and that's that. Let's clear the guest book. And um, that's the XSS section done. Hope you've enjoyed these challenges. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks.